hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to Stannis' playthrough in which Stannis remains on the Iron Throne. If you're enjoying the series, then please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. All support is greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's continue and see what's going on in the realm of Stannis right now. So there's been recent conversion of Morn Hill to R'hllor, but this has caused unrest in the area. So we're going to experience unrest in the Westerlands for a little period. However, they do actually have a matriarch now in the Westerlands, so they are adopting the faith, which is excellent to see. Uh, Melisandre is also doing quite well, although she must be getting on a little bit now. Oh, seemingly not. She's only 48. We are 57, so we are getting a little bit old, so we need to be wary that this may well soon be the end of... Stannis. Uh, my vassal Lord Paramount Halis Harlors requested Theon Greyjoy of Pike be sworn to him rather than me directly. Can I take your gifts? No, I don't think I had that on for this mod. And you have Nightfall, which is very annoying. Ah, he's not actually imprisoned by me. That's why I can't do it. Uh, yes, and he should be with you, so that's that's fine. Of course, we changed various rulers. The Starks still rule in Winterfell, though. Despite Lady Sansa absolutely hating me, she married Garland the Beautiful. So they do have a claim for Highgarden, but I doubt they'll be using it. There's another dragon under King Ago who is married to Daenerys and he's riding Viserion. That's pretty cool. What have you done though, Ago? Peasants are revolted in case, but we have catapults in the Red Keep, which is beautiful. We want to try and upgrade this keep. Uh, 11's not bad. I'm actually quite happy with that. He's been building it up slowly but steadily, and it's going fairly well. Well done to you, Stannis. Uh, in the meantime, we can't look in the flames because there isn't an unknown plot against us, which is great to know. Let's just make sure there's not a known plot against me. Which it doesn't look like there is. Ooh. There actually is. And it's got a lot of support. <laughs> Blimey. Who is this? Treasure of Pine's End. Let's insult her. You've left the letter for Shira composed and sign it. In short, I despise you. You're a foul child with your foul infidel ways repulse me. She's a clansman. Why on earth is she bothering with me? You write on behalf of the Iron Bank. I'm not going to get myself involved in your affairs, but thanks very much. Duressa wants to kill people. Could I have arrested her? Mm, no, that's going to increase my tyranny, apparently. Not many people in Crown Loyalists, which is a bit of a shame. No one really likes me, primarily because... Probably the change of faith. Well, it still says we have a short reign. Too many hold high lordships. What else do I have? I have Dragonstone. I have Harrenhal. I suppose I don't need the high lordship for ship Shipbreaker Bay. But I am going to keep Storm's End. So let's have a look what forms the High Lordship here. Gallows Grey, you're fairly big, aren't you? Yeah, you're the biggest. 
So you can become the High Lord. But you can't have Storm's End. He's fairly happy, but he obviously wants Storm's End. But you're not going to have it. That is reserved for me and me alone. Uh, we also have the Castle of the Tower of the Dread, which I don't particularly need. I like having Harren Hall for its historical value. You want to replace Matriarch Melisandre? I'd rather that you didn't. I like her. How's my wife doing? My wife actually likes me, which is great. And she's young, so there's potential for more children there. Dawn is attacking... Or Sunspear is attacking for Broken Arm. And the Neck is revolting against Sansa. But sadly losing. Just trying to think, what can we do? We do need to dispose of the wildfire. You pay a visit to the Alchemist Guild and order the Chief Wisdom to destroy their excess wildfire. Are you sure, Your Grace? He asks. The substance is uh, quite difficult to uh, dispose of safely. I suppose we could if we were to dedicate ourselves to it entirely, but it would take many months. Yes, get it done. It's dangerous for us to be keeping it. Who does she want to kill? No one of that much note. So what's going on over here? Daenerys has taken uh, Marine and is currently fighting Magister Lotho in Myr. So she is actually successfully continuing her story. You want Septon Burn of Storm's End should be sworn to you. Okay. Doesn't bother me. Majority of the population at Farring Cross has been converted to the faith of Relor, which is great. But it is going to unsettle people. But we are slowly increasing the faith here. What's my ambition? It is to expand the realm by conquest. Okay. You want Harlan Bowling. So you basically want all the people from Storm's End answering to you, which... I mean, it's annoying, but I'm not that fussed. Like, I won't be kicking up a fuss about it. A uh, new commander can be appointed and a small council advisor. So let's give Selwyn the small council advisor position. Two commanders can be appointed. You want to join me and you've got 19 marshals, so you're actually very good, but it's going to cost me 50 gold. But I do have the funds. Let's get rid of someone low, like Clayton. And then we can pop Lyle in. Now, what does he want? He wants to become regent. Well, that's never going to happen. Could grant him a knighthood. Which only loses me prestige. But he's not really going to be doing much, apart from leading some armies for me. So I think we're okay to, uh, to leave him be. Uh, to all the good lords of the Iron Throne... He's called out the Lord of uh, the Rills. What is going on with you over here? You need to chill out. I don't know what you're doing, but something's up. 
He has got some good gear in his treasury, to be fair. Sacrificial burnings as an offering to the Lord of Light will gain me much favour with him. Uh, so we could sacrifice George Redwin, who is the heir to the harbour. Will decrease my vassal's opinion, though, by 15 for 12 months. It's quite a lot. If we burn the God's Wood, it only affects old God followers. So the North is just not going to be particularly happy with me, but that's that's okay, that can be dealt with. To be fair, Stannis hasn't had much insurrection for quite some time, so he's been doing fairly well. No one really that great at Master of Coin. You are much better at... Uh... Sorry, Richard, I know we're friends, but I am going to have to give Hugh the position. Matriarchy is still the best, although Raymond is hot on her heels as Red Priest of Harrenhal. Uh, Harlaw, to be fair, would be a good replacement. Sorry, Mandon, I know that's probably annoying for you, but... There we go. So Harris is annoyed despite the fact that I appointed him in his place. Bit of a failing of logic there. We could hold an epic tournament, but I don't particularly think it's worth the money right now. News from Winterfell of a great trial by combat. We've got no prisoners at all. The biggest threat's coming from the Riverlands, who have 29,000 troops. So they are not, not to be trifled with, particularly if no one comes to our aid. He is improving relations with the Stormlands for me, which is most helpful. But I think I'd prefer you now to just go and help with relations with Tyrion, because Tyrion's <clears throat> a little stronger. Melisandre, we could give her an heirloom. What can I give her? Have we got anything that's less important? Fury... Not really, they're all kind of magisterial goods, aren't they? So let's just give her some money. Would be great for her to proselytise in High Garden. We can get a commander as well, so let's pop someone in position of command. Mandon can now be a commander, so that's good. Hopefully he's not too cheesed off. He's also got some great, great gear. Although I would have thought he'd put L Loris's armour on. But apparently not. Big threat here from Sansa, but she's pretty weak after we stomped her before. Yikes. Lots of people up for this which is not great let's send you a little bit of money I really don't want you in this faction what else can I do oof I really don't need you in this faction where are you you're married to my daughter I'm gonna need him dead Unfortunately, he cannot be allowed to live. He's going to be too dangerous for me. Ninety-five percent. Anyone willing to do it for us? Yes. A couple of people. So I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money, but... It's going to be worth it. Why can't I get you to come into the plot? Oh man, are you no longer back in the plot or is it done automatically? Okay, good, it's done automatically. 
Yes, allow the duel. Are you... Why are you not in the realm? Good, we've removed the wildfire. So now there's only a meager stockpile, which is excellent. Tyrion's just going on a bit of a rampage right now. Uh, I'm concerned with getting more people in this plot. Mandon, you're good. This will kill two birds with one stone. And you would like something as well, so I can pay you some money in a little bit. We're not actually earning a great deal of money. Seven's not the best considering my Stannis playthrough, we're earning like 15. Not my Stannis, sorry, my Lannister playthrough. You would like to politely remind you of the gold that I owe your house. I'm going to need more time, Tyrion. Uh, what do you want? You want the castle of the Tower of the Dread. Sure. You can have that because you don't get the whole of Harrenhal. I think that's a fair trade, to be honest. You want to marry Jenna Swan. What does Jenna Swan have a claim to? Nothing, so I will accept that. Uh, Selwyn's requested Stagsden to be sworn to him. Sure. Doesn't bother me. You, my friend, can end your pl Ah, oh, you're not even going to listen to me, are you? Just need more people in this plot. And I need Edric dead. When he's dead, we'll have a little bit of peace. Matriarch Melisandre has approached me with a bold proposal. She says she can help me in my desire to see Commander Edric dead. She claims to have knowledge of the magic of Ashai, and says our union would unleash the iner inert power within me and strike down our foe. So I will lose 200 piety, 2 health, and either Edric will be killed, or we could potentially gain lunatic. Alternatively, we'll not give in to temptation and lose some relations with her. We're going to do it. We trust her valiantly both in the story and she served us well here, so we are going to do this. We succeeded and Edric was murdered in mysterious circumstances. Does she know it's me? Possibly. <laughs> Gosh, she absolutely hates me. Well, unlucky. But that deals with that faction. That's great. Really, really great. Uh, Lysina, my granddaughter, needs educating. Don't really mind who educates her, to be honest. So let's give her to Alessandra just to improve relations a little bit. Uh, Sensual of Pentos. Ooh, not, not the best of matches, really, for her. But good, we've we've dealt with the threat of a rebellion there. His health is lowered. But I'm sure we can overcome that. You want to kill him? I'd rather you didn't. There is a claim to fabricate uh, on the Kingdom of the Westerlands, but we'll see what happens there. I love it when a plot works. It's always so good. Right. What claims have we got? We've got a claim... Nothing really... Of that great a use. Can we do any embargo wars at the moment? Pentos, how strong are you? 3k. Oof, you're weak. Why can't I declare war? I've got raised army levies. Where? 
I have no idea where they are, but apparently I've got raised army levies. Okay. Uh, embargo. What will we gain? 257 gold here. Yes, this is worth it. Let's hope they all join. I'd be surprised if they don't, but you never know. We've inherited King's Landing from Richard the Eagle. Oh no, sadly my friends died. That's unfortunate. Is no one joining this war? Apparently not. Okay. So it looks like this is just going to be up to us. Where am I getting troops from? Get 8k from the Vale. I think we'll just use those. Send them down to King's Landing. Get the boats up. Get the boats from Dragonstone. That ought to do it. Good. My son's slowly gaining the art of the sword and also being strong. He will do exceptionally well. Stannis can lead with Mandon and Lyle. Lots of positions open, but that's okay. We also need to, to give someone... I can give Hugh the city of King's Landing. Uh, and then make him commander of the Gold Cloaks. Congratulations. Don't need you, but thank you. Edric Storm's dead. Shireen has had a daughter by Edric Storm. Really? Wow. Oh my god. He's an imbecile. Or well, she's an imbecile. <laughs> That's not great. Right, let's send you down. But I think we will have to end the episode here. Ah, on the excellent news that my wife is pregnant. Well, that's good. Uh, we will have to end here, but next episode we will continue with the Embargo War in order to get some good money flowing into the coffers of the King. In the meantime, if you're enjoying the series, then please do leave a like. Uh, comment with any hints, tips or pieces of lore that you wish to share. Subscribe, hit the bell. All support is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Hello.